What's going on, everybody? It's your observant lineman, Uche Waneri. And today, we are getting what could be breaking news in the NFL. The Washington football team in the NFL has registered a new domain online under the moniker dcsentinels.com. Now, this information comes by way of Twitter with Darren M. Haynes providing the IP information and the registration of the new domain from redskins.com to dcsentinels.com. Uh, so that could be something of uh, breaking news that is going to basically let us know that, a, the, that the official name change for the Washington Redskins is imminent and we will be hearing an announcement here soon. Now, personally, I feel like Sentinels, not a bad name. I felt like Red Tails was a great one. I felt like uh, Warriors was another good one. Uh, but uh, DC Sentinels, I can live with that. I think that that's something that's solid. You know, I think that that's a good uh, way to not only move away from uh, that old school Redskins, Redskins name into something a little bit more modern with uh, everything that's going on today. But also, I feel like Sentinels, defenders, like people who are actually protecting uh, their home base and DC obviously being the District of Columbia, which is uh, the capital of the United States, which is the heart of the United States infrastructurally. Uh, our government's heart is in DC. Uh, I feel like that is a name that kind of sticks well. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, I think that, you know, sure enough, there's going to be people who don't necessarily agree with it. There are going to be people who want to keep the old Redskins name uh, as the nickname for the Washington squad. Uh, but, you know, hey, it is what it is, right? Uh, they can still have those uniforms as throwback uniforms when they have a uh, couple of games during the season. And, you know, it'll be something that we can look back on and be like, yeah, that's what they used to be. But now they're the Sentinels. I'd like to see what a new design is for that Washington, D.C. Sentinels uh, uh, mascot. I'd like to see that. I think that would be something that'd be pretty cool. Uh, you know, the NFL does have uh, these legacy uniforms that you rarely see change, rarely see get uh, any kind of heavy uh, facelifts. Uh, and you rarely also see new uniforms. I mean, this would almost be like an expansion team for the NFL. So it's kind of cool to see where now uh, in today's NFL, where they would go with these uniform designs. I feel like a lot of people uh, hate on the LA Rams design. And honestly, I like that design. I really do like the Rams design. I think it's modern. I think it's almost futuristic. Uh, it has more, I mean, it feels like just there's more depth in the design. You know, sometimes, you know, and I respect, you know, flat numbers. I respect, you know, slightly layered numbers. You know, that's, that's kind of how we've always been used to seeing our football uniforms. Uh, but I really do believe that the Rams uniform is a step uh, towards the future and, and new materials being used uh, on those on those uniforms are going to you know be things that are going to be followed by other teams. I remember when in Jacksonville, we changed our uniforms uh, and they were a future. It was a futuristic step forward and everybody on the team kind of dug the threads. Now, the helmet, obviously, it was a two tone helmet. The NFL was trying something new. And it didn't necessarily work out as well as uh, one would have hoped, but still, you could still redesign that helmet to be a solid color, uh, and you know you'd, be, you'd still have those great uniforms. Now, unfortunately, the Jaguars uh, regressed and went back to some old 1990 style uniform with block numbers, with no outlining, uh, and no kind of third accent of that Jaguars. Uh, uh, kind of that teal and gold accent that we're used to with the Jaguars. They have none of that anymore. And the uniforms look plain, dull, and boring. So I'm interested to see how the DC Defenders, I mean, um, <laughs> so I'm interested to see how the DC Sentinels, if that's what the name ends up being, I'm interested, to, interested in seeing how those uniforms will be redesigned and how they'll play out uh, going into the 2020 season. I don't think that there's any reason to believe that uh, Nike wouldn't be able to get some uniforms ready once they're done with the design. Uh, but what do you guys think about the Washington Redskins potentially having that DC Sentinels name 
tied up as they have now registered a new domain name with that let me know what you guys think leave your comments down below and i will catch you all on the next video peace